David Trimble, the former Northern Ireland First Minister and one of the chief architects of the Good Friday Agreement, has died at the age of 77. His family said he passed away peacefully following a short illness. The former leader of the Ulster Unionist Party was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize alongside John Hume in recognition of their efforts to help end the troubles in Northern Ireland. Tonight on Taoiseach Micheál Martin paid tribute to Mr Trimble, who he said had played a crucial and courageous role in bringing peace to Northern Ireland. David Trimble was a surprise appointment as Ulster Unionist leader. A hardliner in the 70s, the bitter drum cree parading dispute early in his leadership, in which he played a prominent role, set nationalists against him. In private, though, he was a pragmatist. He was a very shy man. But I think if he trusted you, then you could get a good relationship. But certainly in terms of bravery, when it came to the bit, David Trimble had it. IRA ceasefires created the space for talks. As the leader of unionism, David Trimble negotiated. In his last TV interview, he described how the Good Friday Agreement was concluded with former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern. We, 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 we had a meeting with him and it went right on into the small hours of the next day. And by the time we reached the small hours of the next day, we'd solved the problems. The agreement was a high point. Trimble did the deal and sold it hard to unionists, even with its prisoner releases and RUC reform. Yes, 71.12%. A Nobel Peace Prize for him and SDLP leader John Hume was the recognition. But the subsequent years were difficult. His party, and himself personally, paid the price as anti-agreement unionists vented their fury. Before his death, he was honoured by the university where he'd taught law. Former Taoiseach Bertie Ahern, a signatory to the Good Friday Agreement, was there to acknowledge a man he'd come to respect. I would argue black was white at times, but at the same time we worked together. He never blinked and, um, you know, there were those who were against him, but I, I admired him. The night his portrait was unveiled, he was in reflective mood. Asked whether the Belfast Agreement, as he preferred to call it, was his finest hour, he gave a typical Trimble response. Well, I can't think of anything else better than that. David Trimble, lawyer, politician, pragmatist and peacemaker.